Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in again. Last time we got a nice little win as Tainted Eve and we are continuing on a pretty good streak here. We got Bethany again. We did just play Bethany. I tend to like to leave the randomizers to do its thing, but if we get a same character really soon after each other, then I will switch it up. And we got Judas, which I've lost as Judas multiple times before, surprisingly, despite him being a very, very good character. Convert one heart container to a burn heart. That's genuinely useless, isn't it? Like, I'm, I'm right in thinking that's completely useless, right? <laughs> I don't think that can do anything for us. Ooh, that was close. I almost tried to Dark Arts out the door there. Unfortunately, it is what it is. The Possumia shall be left. I maybe should pick it up just to have an active, but I don't really see why I'd bother. Um, but yeah, I just had a, a rather interesting... Um, rather interesting time so I, i'm recording this in the same day as i recorded the um this the last episode yesterday's episode that you guys watched and i went and had my lunch um i had some some mince left over and some bacon so i made a smash burger and it was in a word incredible um it was just absolutely amazing uh so i had that and as i said it was awesome but then, just while I was having my food, I received a call from a um, a person trying to sell me a new sell a new like oh hell yes, love the larynx. Um, this is so good. Um, I received a phone call from someone trying to sell me a new uh, a new like mobile phone, new, a new uh, phone plan, and um, yeah, I I was suspicious, so I um, I checked the number online and. My suspicions suspicions were confirmed. It was indeed a scam call. Um, and so I was like, do you know what? Let's have some fun. Uh, it was. Ca I do feel a little bad because like the, the, the main person I spoke to sounded kind of genuine. But at the same time, he's working at a scam call center and he knows it. So I didn't really care. Um, and yeah, they were trying to sell me like an iPhone and um, like with a, with a new deal. And I just... I, I wreaked a bit of havoc. I basically got me to transfer. I, I got them to transfer me like multiple different times. I should be using uh, Dark Arts a little more here. Um, yeah, I got them to transfer me multiple different times to different members of the team and told them all conflicting information. I told them all like very like very different things. So they were they were getting quite confused. Like I got the first call and they said we can give you an iPhone. Um, ooh, that's actually pretty good. It gives us a pill, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, balls of steel. Hell yes. Um, I will go and get that chest now as well. Yeah, like, I, they, they started off by saying, oh, we can give you an iPhone 13 for £35 a month. Uh, and then the they transferred me. I said, oh, cool, that sounds like a great deal. Awesome. Yeah, transfer me. They transferred me to the manager or whatever. And I was like, hey, your last person just told me I can get an iPhone 13 for 12 pounds. No, it was, I said 20 pounds. Um, and he was like, uh, no, that's not what we said at all. And I was like, nope, nope, that's what the last sales assistant told me. They told me they could get me an iPhone 13 for 20 pounds. And he was like adamant, like, nope, we can only do it for uh, 35 to 40 pounds. I was like, nope, he told me 20, I want it for 20. What can you do for me? And I got the guy to like go through a bunch of different um, sales pitches for different, um, for different things here. Do I want to play these? The shit? Did my wishbone proc already? I mean, I'll take Kess the Tower because it's just funny. God damn, my wishbone proc like straight away then. Eh, I, don't, I, I, th I think we're kind of being a mug playing those. But I got my wishbone to proc straight away, which I didn't actually know abided by item pool. So that's worth remembering, even if it is only a 2% chance for it to proc. Um, but yes, yeah, so I, I got him to, uh, to go through the whole spiel. And by the way, while we're, uh, while we're on the topic of this, we can kind of feed our question of the day into this. What is your guy's biggest pet peeve? What's your biggest, like, minor annoyance? I would say scam calls is a big one of mine. I, I'd say it's more than a pet peeve, really, but still, ah, oh, that's upsetting. Um, it's more than a pet peeve, really, because obviously it's a, a pretty big annoyance. Uh, but that's definitely one that I'd, uh, I'd say, ooh, decent. Speed downs are kind of annoying, but Dark Hearts kind of makes up for that, so I don't mind so much. Oh, damn. I only had one charge in my larynx there. I didn't do anything. I was hoping to, um... I was hoping to use it to kill these little flies around, but it, it doesn't quite reach. But yeah, what's your biggest pet peeve? But yeah, anyways, I'll carry on. And, and, um... While held, certain special rooms will always contain beggars. Awesome. That's very, 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 very good for us indeed. 
Oh, give us an item, give us an item. Ah, you bastard. Oh, there's no other bomb rocks, unfortunately. I was hoping to try and get him to blow up a secret room for me. Um, yeah, so I got him to go through the whole spiel with uh, with all these all these different deals they had. And I kept basically changing my mind about what I wanted all like all the time. Uh, why did I even check that? That was obviously not the secret room based on this room here. Um, could be here. Let's try it out. Yeah, so I just kept changing the... Excuse me. What the hell is it? Oh, well. Um, I kept changing my mind all the time about what I wanted, and he, he, like the dude was clearly getting frustrated. But then um, I gave them, I gave them my um, my name and email. My name was Tom Jones, um, and Tom Jones fifty nine at Hotmail UK. I apologise to anyone named um, Tom Jones with that email, but I very highly doubt that actually exists. But yeah, um, <laughs> I just kept like sort of carrying on with the whole spiel, and he was like, "Okay, cool. I'm gonna send you an email, and we'll get back to you." And I was like, "Okay, cool." Um, can I just check the legitimacy of this call? Um, and I asked him a bunch of questions and they were like, oh, we're from Curry's. Um, we're, we're cold calling on their behalf and all this stuff. And, and I was just like, well, if you are, can you give me like the website link that you're like sort of calling on? Maybe? Ooh, this is probably better actually. Um, yeah, I was like, can you give me sort of the 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 code from like your your employee code which doesn't actually exist from the website and the 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 guy was very confused and was was refusing a lot oh there's some really good stuff in here also is that stan pines that's amazing um give myself stopwatch thank you yeah and <laughs> he was quite confused and then he uh, and then it was like okay cool i'll um i'll send you an email and i'll call you back and i was like okay cool and then he called me back and we're well, gonna get some good stuff in here. I mean, we already got a nickel from it. That's so good. Um, yeah, he was like, "Okay, cool. I'll uh, I'll call you back." And he called me back, and he, I basically just completely changed my mind about everything I'd said to him prior. Uh, it's just like, oh no, I don't want that phone anymore. I want a different one. And of course, because they're scammers, they just completely pulled a random deal out of the air to fit what I wanted. And I like, I like quoted that I wanted like a really old shitty Nokia. And they're like, oh yeah, cool. We can get you that for like 20 pound a month. Cause I'd asked for a phone at 20 pound a month before. Um, with unlimited data and all this sort of stuff. And it's just like, oh my God, put a little effort in at least. God damn. And then I, I started questioning where they were calling from. Cause as, as much as I don't want to reinforce the stereotype, they were Indian. Um, it was an Indian call center, an Indian scamming center. Um, ooh, spinning wheel, nice. Yeah, I gotta say, as much as I didn't want to sort of reinforce that stereotype, it was unfortunately the case. Uh, I will pop that open. This was a really bad idea. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I was like, oh, so where are you calling from? And um, I'd, also, I'd also, when they called me back, I'd been called, like I missed the call because I was making my lunch. And I'd been called back on like multiple different numbers. And I was like, why is that? Why are you calling me from so many different numbers? Why isn't it just one number? And they couldn't answer me straight. And then when I was asking like, where are you calling from? That's when they were like, okay, you know, <laughs> bye. <laughs> it's just so funny. Goddamn scammers. Just the lowest form of human. The lowest form of human. It's just, it's kind of, it is crazy, like, just how, like, prevalent it is in India. Like, you, with, with the country being so big and, like, just having that many people, it's kind of hard to, like, catch people that do it. And, yeah, they, um, oh, beautiful. They, they get away with it so easily. And it's just, like, it's a legitimate career over there. Like legitimately, people people do that for their for their entire living. It's crazy. I don't know if any of you have. Uh, I'm getting hit a lot right now. I don't know if any of you have ever watched. Oh my god, Jim Browning on YouTube. He's a he's a guy that basically scams scammers. Uh, he like reveals their their like location and like hacks into their call center, like blocks them out of their PCs, returns money to to, to people that have been scammed. All this sort of good stuff. Um, oh shit, I forgot I have pinwheel there. He's to tap shoot a little bit. Yeah, and he's really, really entertaining because he just absolutely destroys them. Also, that's a tactic right there. God damn, waiting a lot of cards right now. It's always a bit sad when you don't get any reverse cards. Two of pentacles. 
Uh, we got lose all of your bombs, spawn a number of pickups based on the proportion of bombs. Okay, we don't really care about that. We'll activate the unknown and hope for an error room here. We got something or other. Don't actually know what, what we got there. Okay. Down to the next floor, I think. Um, we will take a chariot, I guess, is the best one out of them. Unfortunately, our items haven't been all that good recently. Stopwatch is like the best item we have right now. Um, ooh. Okay, that's, 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 that's very, very good. That's very, very good indeed. Getting ourselves some gasoline. Another one of these, hello. These seem to be pretty prevalent in, uh, these rooms. But to be fair, it makes sense considering the kind of risk-reward things. But yeah, if you, if you guys ever, um, ever, like, hung a scam caller on the line for, like, a really long time. Ooh, the gasoline plus rebirth curse is kind of funny. Um, yeah, one of, one of my, uh, my dad's friends once, like, kept one going for, like, a really, like, ridiculously long time. I mean, like, months. Like, kept asking them to call back repeatedly and kept saying they were definitely gonna buy or definitely gonna be available to buy. Um, and, uh, like, about, about a few months in... He kind of decided, okay, let's let, let's let's put an end to this. And they they rang and they said, I think his name his last name. I'll, I'll just say his last name was Jones for now because I, I don't want to reveal anyone's last name. But like they were like, oh, is Mr. Jones in the house? And he was like, not anymore. And they were like, what what do you mean not anymore? And he was like, I'm Mrs. Jones now. <laughs> like I have um and and they were like, no no no, M Mr. Jones. We're looking for Mr. Jones. And he was like, no 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 no, this is Mrs. Jones now. And they, and they were like. Because obviously, like, again, I don't want to reinforce the stereotype, but in India, there is, like, a lot of, like, transphobia and, um, like, a lot of homophobia. Um, so they were, like, not happy at all about this. Uh, and he, and they were, like, not accepting, like, you've got a man's voice, you get a man's voice. He's like, nope, I'm a woman now and you, you must address me as such. And they refused to, so it ended up ending because he pretended to be trans. <laughs> it's just, oh my god. This was quite a long time ago, uh, albeit, but I still I still thought it was really funny. Um, and yeah, I gotta say, like, whole, just it's just entertaining to waste their time. They're, they're wasting yours. One one big thing for me as well is they always um, they always ring you during work hours, and it's like I'm I'm just, like at work, like I'm, I'm working right now. Go away. <laughs> what we got going on in here? Really want to get as much money as possible so we can get the black markets going on the the extra shop that we get at the start of each floor. I really want to make sure we get as much of that out we can. Oh, that's I love the gasoline effect here with Reba. It's great. They just spawn onto a fire and die. Right, you two are dead. Oh god, watch straight into that dude. We are losing health kind of rapidly here. I need to be careful. I don't know when I'm going to sort of get an opportunity to use spin wheel, like, appropriately. Because at the minute, it's not really very fitting for what we got going on. Ooh, Rebirth is a little dangerous with uh, with Dark Arts. I'll be careful about that. What you got going on for us? Oh, Friendly Sack's awesome. I love this item with a passion. It's so good. And both of those guys Rebirth. Let's get Dark Arts ready again and just... Whale and all these fools. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, golden penny as well. Again, this is the sort of thing we wanted. Let's just hope it procs more than like five times. I'm hoping to get up to at least 20 cent with this, but yeah. Like I say, you, nev you never really know with these. Beautiful. Grab that. Yeah, we do need a little bit more health, so I'm hoping our shop provides here. Oh, that's going to give us a lot of damage ups. I kind of want to use my uh, my larynx here on this room, but I'm so close to the boss now that I might as well just one-shot kill the boss. I should really use it when it's at half charge, no matter what. Ooh, we get ourselves a golden clotty. Ooh. Tried to go into my shop there. I don't actually have a key to do that, so that's whatever. But yeah, the golden clotty here. Not only is going to give us some extra firepower. Ow. Didn't realize the creep would reach me there. But also, we could get some money out of this because it's going to freeze enemies sometimes. We do have a key now. Right, so what did we do before? We did this, didn't we? Yeah, there you go. Just dark arts and then press. Ooh, okay, this is good. Get some health and we get a nice fire rate bonus. Scapula, of course, isn't great here, uh, but we will take it nonetheless. I don't know where we're meant to be going here. Just blue baby today. Just blue baby. All right, so we'll grab that. And I think we'll just bail. Just go. 
But yeah, Friendly Sack's going to be giving us loads of random little dips and clots and all sorts of good stuff. Um, we are, we are walking the line here. Unfortunately, we can't afford anything this time. So we'll just, uh, we'll just bounce. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting to hear of, of any of your guys' stories where you've, uh, just spent a bunch of time wasting a scammer's time. Because it's always funny. It's like, you can, you can, oh god. The teleporty dudes are really messing me up right now. What curse do we have this floor? Curse of the Lost. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. It's kind of funny that our uh, our clot also does the spinny attack too. Ooh, that's kind of maybe a good trinket. We should also go into our uh, curse room here. Black sacks could be good. Yes, burn heart. And potentially another? No. Oh, my clot just committed suicide. It's slightly annoying that they do that on on, uh, on the spiked rocks. They're just always like, yup, that's me done. Also, for the amount of bombs to key ratios that we have right now, definitely a good deal here. Castle Lost is absolute pain in the ass. We'll, we'll deal with it. We are glowing crazy. Also, we like, why don't we have any eyes? I haven't really considered that yet, but why don't we have any eyes? Oh, that was a big damage bonus. <laughs> I don't know what item it is that we have that got rid of them, but one of them definitely did. We're still firing though, so we've still, we've still got some semblance of eyes. Oh, I lost my golden buddy. Don't worry, we'll get something similar back soon. Do you know what? It's a good room to do that. <laughs> Come on, dude. Ah, <sighs> Enemies like this are the worst. Just pop your little head up, you freak. Sadly, we can't do anything with that red heart. Item room once again. Unfortunately, not the greatest for us, but we'll take it. Gotcha, best bud. I do like the resprites for the fly items, though. They are pretty incredible. Ooh, that was close. I really want to get something really, really entertaining to use with spinning wheel. Like, spinning, I feel like spinning wheel's always one of those items I end up getting to get some good use out of when I find it, so... Just because it's, it's optional, so you don't, you don't have to use it. It always makes it a little better. Stop spawning stuff, please. I don't even know why they're green. This is a champion that I don't think I've seen before. Hmm. Very peculiar. Very peculiar. But yes, as I was saying as well, I, uh, I made myself a, a smash burger for lunch because I had the extra stuff in from last night to make it. I had some extra ingredients. And I've, I've spoken about it before on this, on this, um, I was going to say podcast, this isn't a podcast, but it, yeah, I mean, it kind of is. Um, I've spoken about it a little bit before, wow, not single soul heart, but got diggity damn. I, I enjoy cooking, but that, that cast iron pan that I got for Christmas is the best gift I've ever received. It's, it's genuinely amazing. All right, let's, uh, let's do this, let's go. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Little annoying, but we good. Little annoying, but we good. But yeah, that cast iron. Genuinely the best thing I've ever received. I bought like a... They're called bacon weights, and they're pretty much what you'd think they are. They're like things for weighing down meat to like press them against the hot cast iron. And it's awesome. It's so good. Ooh, the lantern. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's so good. Like you just like you're ma making bacon on it, put the weight on it. And one of the really cool things about cast iron. By the way, I do apologize for anyone that really doesn't care about cooking, but I'm I'm already in too deep now. Um, but uh, one of the really good things about cast iron is like it gets for one, it gets incredibly hot, so it's really nice for like cooking things. Oh, I could spawn mini Isaacs too. But on top of that, um, oopsie. Oh god. It also um, retains flavor. So, like, if you cook something quite fatty in it, like I cook pancetta a lot in it, which pancetta is just basically bacon on crack. It's just better bacon. That's the, it renders out a lot of fat into the pan. Um, and then if you... You can essentially, like, you can leave it on the pan without cleaning it. Um, or, like, just leave a little bit on the pan. It may sound gross to, like, not clean it, but you're kind of meant to. It, it, it's called seasoning the pan. And essentially it creates, like, a layering effect on the pan. And the next meal that you cook will incorporate some of those fats and flavors. And oh, it's genuinely incredible. Like, I I thought I'd tasted bacon before. I thought I'd had bacon before, but I had not. <laughs> I truly had not. Until, until you have bacon on like a well-seasoned cast iron pan, you haven't tasted what bacon can truly taste like. Because it, like, I didn't, I thought it'd be good. I didn't think it'd be like so significantly better. I was so wrong. It's it's like it's like bacon, but five times better. It's it's incredible. Like if and the, the, one of the great things as well is this sort of a sort of something to say for anyone that is either living in their own house now or flat or whatever or is planning on doing so, buy one. They're not ridiculously expensive. It's like sixty pound for a good one, and you really do want a good one, um, like a real cast iron one. But it will, if you look after it, it will literally last you your entire life. Like, and I mean, like, it won't just last you your life. It'll last you your life, your kid's life, your kid's kid's life. They, they, they are resilient as heck. Just as long as you take care of them, they're really resilient. And they're not even hard to take care of. Basically, just once you finish cooking with it, clean it. Uh, like, just, just like, cl clean it uh, with some hot water and don't scrub it too hard. But, like, you can scrub off the little bits. Or use, like, a metal scraper spatula to, like... Get off any bits that are stuck, um, and make sure it's bone dry once you've uh, once you've cleaned it, and then rub it down with some some vegetable oil, like a tiny little bit of vegetable oil to keep it seasoned, and you're good to go. And honestly, yeah, one of the most incredible things I've ever earned. It's I love cooking, so for me it's a bit more um, a bit more interesting than it would be to most. But god diggity damn, I yeah, it's just it's been a life changer. I cook like basically every single thing, every, every one of my meals in it now. Like I said, I just made a smash burger in it, and then I had I had a burger bun left over, uh, so I made an egg sandwich as well. And oh, it's just precious. It's just precious. I probably will end up asking uh, my questions of the day a lot more food-related questions, just because I do love me some food. It's like, for, like one of the one of the sort of examples of just how much I like food. So I haven't actually had COVID yet. I've been lucky enough to not get it. Which is surprising, um, considering my girlfriend is a key worker and is around around the public a lot. Uh, I'm not. I stay. I work from home. I don't see anyone. I, I, I'm nestled into my little corner and don't see or speak to anyone. But she's always in the public and talking to people. So I'm surprised neither of us have had it yet. But we haven't. Um, and one of the things, at least with the early variants of it, was that you'd lose your taste. And apparently, for some people, your taste doesn't come back. Um, like, uh, n like, obviously it comes back in some regard, but it doesn't... Oh, why, why do I use the bomb? See, see what I mean by this room being way too common? This is the fourth time we've had it, this room. It's crazy. Um, yeah, uh, I... Like, it, it doesn't, of course, like, mean that you'd never taste anything again, but certain tastes will change or won't come back, or it'll take a really, really long time, like six months. And I, I said... I would genuinely rather be bedridden with COVID than taste nothing. Uh, bed bedridden with an illness, not COVID specifically, but I'd rather be bedridden ill and be able to taste than be completely healthy and not be able to taste. Like, if you can't taste things, what's the point in life? 
<laughs> really. I do apologize to anyone out there that currently can't taste anything. That may sound a little insensitive, but you know what I mean. Um, but goddamn, I'd be like so upset if I couldn't taste things. Eating good food is like is like the the biggest joy in my life. <laughs> Hello. Good good amount of money for the next floor here. Yeah, it's like the biggest joy that I have is eating good food. Got you. Dark arts. Damn, we did lose a burn heart there, unfortunately, which means we lose some damage from the calcium thing that we got going on. Yeah, you're gonna die, aren't you? Why have we got slight herming? What what of what of ours do we have that gi is giving us herming? I do not know, but I will accept it for what it is. Let's get back to the boss. Uh, we, we've we've received eyes. We've been deemed worthy enough to now have eyes. I don't know when it happened, but we now have them. It's like the the other day. Um, for the first time in my life, I went to a restaurant on my own. I've been like I've eaten out on my own before, like just like picked up a sandwich or whatever. But I've never been to like a proper restaurant on my own before, and I did it for the first time. And in the UK, at least, there's kind of a stigma around, a stigmatism around it. Like it's not something that people do. You, 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 it's like both same with cinema as well. You don't really hear at least go to cinema or eat out at a restaurant on your own. It's kind of weird, but I did, and I was like, damn. Why is there any stigmatism around this whatsoever? This is fantastic. I had a great meal. I had a nice time. I didn't have to, like, I'm not saying it's a task to, but I didn't have to make any conversation or make any effort to to be entertaining or to, to tell stories or speak to anyone. I could just sit there, mind my own business, do my own thing and have a nice meal. And when I was finished eating, I could leave right away. It was, it was glorious. That, if that guy had stolen that from me the moment I had entered, I would have actually cried a bit. Let's see what we can get here. Restock machines in these rooms are so strong. Like this. We just got red stew. Bit of good old red stew. We should be able to relative keep red stew for a relatively long time as well here, because we'll be going quite fast. Especially considering like every fourth room we can just one shot. I see you there. Not quite a one-shot because these were all at four different corners. Also, the clots are really helping us out. I'm surprised we managed to keep them so long. And we got a mini Isaac in there as well. Oh, we got a holy dip. That's awesome. Oh, shit. Holy dip with spin wheel. Here's the synergy we were looking for, people. Here's the synergy. <laughs> Just stay in the holy dip's aura and spin wheel. That's incredible. I love that. What you got for us here? Nothing worthwhile. Let's go. I'm just trying to speed up now to keep uh, thingy going. I really should be trying to find more money though, because this could happen. Um, Cal Pilkington there. Greed there. Don't think there's anything we want there though. I would like duality, but I don't think. I think it's a bit, bit too little, too late at this point. Do not destroy my dip. I will actually murder someone if you destroy my dip. Look, look at this. Because it creates a bunch of herming shots. Also, I'm pretty sure the holy dips are, like, reasonably resilient, too. Like, they don't die super quickly. And because it, like, spawns at the same point as us when we enter the room, we can get a lot going very early. That's like, definitely a room for that. This would have been a better room for it, I'll be honest, but there you go. Three room is rerolls or pickups, why not? There's some money at least. Again, we want as much money as possible. Th this trinket is genuinely perfection. I love it. Something is wrong. That was a, ba a little baby yell. Like the friendly sack. It might be one of my favorite items. It might. It might genuinely be one of my favorite modded items. Just to see how cool it is. Look at that. Look at the damage we're putting out with this Holy Dip here. The Holy Dip has made this build. Like, we're already putting out a lot of damage, albeit. I I'll say it, but like... Don't destroy my Holy Dip. That would be so sad. That would have been 
the most depressing thing to happen to anyone ever. It wouldn't have, but you know what I mean. The fact that it affects my clots that aren't even in the aura is awesome. Beautiful. Holy dip, as long as you stay alive, we will be good. We, we got a viz. Like, this this is great. I, I do want to do hush, but I've got I've to say, our biggest, strongest tactic is our holy dip, and it will die if we go there. Uh, unfortunately, nothing there is super good for us either. Our shops haven't been amazing. Still, though, I, I, I still rank the trinket very highly, despite, despite it not giving us the best of stuff. Full card is whatever. This is a room I despise. I'm pretty sure it's a vanilla room, but yeah. It's just three bishops really far away from each other in hard-to-hit spots. Just a pain. And it's ghost as well, which I just already genuinely dislike. Go away, Palti. Boom. That's a room that I want over straight away. Four Palties. Kind of annoying, but pretty easy. Oh no, he's gone! There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. There goes my hero. Sometimes it does that with Larynx, where it just does, like, fuck all damage for, like, whatever reason. I can never really suss out why it does that. It's a bit sad, but what happens, happens. We are getting, like, quite a lot of herming shots, and I don't really know. Is it, like, the ghost baby dude? I don't know why we're getting, like, odd herming shots here every now and again. We are losing some clotties here and there, but... Unfortunately, we're just going to deal with it. Yeah, we lost our ghost one, unfortunately. We've still got some damage out there. Easy does it, easy does it. This has been a quick run, goddamn. Compared to last run, last run felt like it was an eternity. It was such a hard-fought one. Hey, I'll take that. Our last floor anyway, so we might as well spend our money. And we got boom, 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 boom. Okay, three really good things here, one really bad one. In fact, these three synergize really well together. Especially Mysterious Liquid plus uh, Flatstone. Absolutely covers the room. That's also very good. With Spinning Wheel especially. Beautiful. That's a door mimic if I've ever seen one. Applies old screen filter. Enemies have 20% chance of spawning as hallucinations, which cannot deal damage at the start of every floor. So that's actually a really good item, but completely useless on this run because we're getting it on the last floor. We're getting it on the last floor or, like, its effects literally don't work. Like, the, the, the positive effects of it, at least. It can't duplicate a special room we go to the next floor because there is no next floor. Also, Curse of the Tower hasn't been all too bad for us this run, surprisingly. Not really had any issues with it. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> that was a room that was potentially rife for annoyance. Just look at the, the, the radial wave of mysterious liquid on the floor. Beautiful. All we need now is, like, piercing, and this would be perfect. Ow. Hurt by an explosion causes more explosions. We did find a secret room via that, though, so... Not all bad. Also, we got pentacles, which could end up providing. Don't really need to play you, I don't think. Okay, here's the boss. Whoa, our tears go yellow when, when they're affected by dark arts. It's kind of weird. Right, boom. 
Yeah, look, you go yellow. That's really cool. The colors mix like that. I've never, I've never witnessed that before. Looks awesome. Built like like sort of magma tears. Nice. What a what a nice concise speedy little run there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What an absolutely fantastic run. I'll see you guys in the next one.